What's up guys, Everyday iTech here, and today on November 3rd, Apple's new software, iOS 26.1, is released and official for everyone to download and install. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what's new and all of the features and changes. All right, this update comes in at 11.73 gigabytes on my iPhone 17 Pro, and it states, this update adds new languages for live translation with AirPods, a new tinted option for liquid glass, along with other features, bug fixes, and security updates for your iPhone. So if you tap on learn more, you can see about this update, you can see it talks about liquid glass, being able to choose from the clear look or the new tinted look, live translation with AirPods support for Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Italian, an Apple Music mini player with swipe gestures, Apple Music auto mix, gain control for external USB microphones while recording, and local capture files can be saved to a specific location, manual workout logging is available directly from the fitness app, a new camera setting to turn on or off the lock screen swipe to open camera, improved FaceTime audio quality in low bandwidth conditions, and communication and safety web content filters to limit adult websites for existing child accounts for ages 13 through 17. They also talk about more information on security updates. Over here, it's mostly talking about Apple's rapid security response, support for iOS 26.1 features, and it shows all the different countries that each individual feature is available in, and why you should update to the newest software, namely enhanced security and bug fixes. All right, let's go and take a look at the new features and changes in real time. All right, now going through the settings, it's pretty much the same. It'll ask you about face ID and mask and then stolen device protection, which I highly recommend you enable. And then it'll run you through iOS 26.0 features. None of the new 0.1 features are mentioned here. Finally, we're at the welcome screen and instead of swiping up, I noticed it's now a get started button. Tap on it and we are in iOS 26.1. Now, before updating to iOS 26.1, I had 372 2.08 gigabytes of space available and after updating i now have 372.22 gigabytes available Okay, editing me here, and during the time of recording this footage, the storage available now is showing 373.85 gigabytes, and as I'm looking back right now, it is showing 374.82 gigabytes available. So it seems that iOS 26.1 frees up even more storage over time. All right, so first and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Tinted apps. In the display settings, you can now opt for a clear or tinted glass look, and it shows up inside notification center, and also your buttons and toggles. Up next, lock screen camera swipe. You can now disable this in the camera settings at the very bottom. Once you do, no more accidental swipes. Control center is a lot more bouncy. Up next, in Apple Music, you can now swipe to go forward or back to a previous song, and it works on the mini player as well. In addition, Apple Music also has audio mix, which allows for seamless transition between songs, kind of like a live DJ. And when you show the lyrics, you can adjust the volume of just the vocals so you can sing along. Up next, the setting headers are now left oriented, whereas before they were middle aligned. And in privacy and security settings, at the very bottom, rapid security updates has now been renamed to background security improvements. Click into here. And with this, if you do not want to update to the latest version of iOS, you will still be able to download the security improvements. The Photos app now has a new scrubbing bar. When you are viewing a video, everything is now enclosed in this rounded rectangle. The clock app icon when in low power mode now has a ticking motion so it can allow the whole display to operate at 1 hertz, saving you battery rather than having a sweeping motion. Up next, when setting an alarm, it'll now say slide to stop like on iOS 6 slide to unlock instead of being a button. Now just a disclaimer, in standby mode, it'll still be a button. If you go into settings, general, local capture, you can change the save location of the local capture and also enable audio Audio only. Local capture allows you to record audio and video and calls to be able to save and edit later. It allows you to use a USB mic to get better audio quality. And also now in iOS 26.1, you can also directly adjust the gain of your connected microphone. In the fitness app, you can now manually log your workouts. And of course, live translation with AirPods now support Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Italian. FaceTime now has better audio quality and 
in places with low quality connection. And communication safety and web content filters are automatically enabled by default to limit adult websites for child accounts aged 13 through 17. Now alongside iOS 26.1, Apple also released iPad OS 26.1, Mac OS Tahoe 26.1, HomePod OS 26.1, and Watch OS 26.1. Like and subscribe to stay posted on the latest iOS 26 features and changes. Peace.